Thank you. I'm Greg Davis. Welcome to Taskmaster. What a series this is turning out to be. The Taskmaster trophy is edging closer to having a proud new owner, and our comedians have never had to work so hard for something in their lives, because, let's face it, they've got it pretty easy. <laughs> let's meet them now. Our contenders are... Hugh Dennis! <laughs> And sidled up beside me in his inferior armchair, it's little Alex Horn. <laughs> I've uh, sensed a newfound confidence in you during this series. You, genuinely? Yes, I have. Thank you. And you're quite right too, because I am feeling I'm feeling chipper. I've uh, I think I've secured my sort of future. I've invented something to make some money from have you. Cola Mobile. So it's like normal cola, which is delicious, but you can take it, you can drink it anywhere. You take it... <laughs> it's like mobile phones compared to the landline. You just drink it, take it to a park. <laughs> Please, can we hear today's prize category, Alex? Certainly, Greg. So we've asked them to bring in their cutest thing. OK? It's nice. That is nice. Yeah. So it's up to you, Greg, uh, Greg Davis, isn't it, to judge <laughs> which of their things is the cutest. Yep. OK? The person who has brought in the cutest thing will gain five points. Yeah. Okay? And the winner of the whole episode will walk home with five really cute things. It's, wow. All to play for. Yeah. And I guess part of this is, is judging what I personally would find cute. Very big part of it, yeah. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Lolly, hello. Hello. What do you consider cute? I've brought in a photo of myself. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. I'd just done a show and they, they threw roses at me. Even, show. even back then, you were <laughs> getting it. standing ovation. Yeah. Well, it is cute, but it also looks like you've been buried up to your neck in that, <laughs> in that duvet. <laughs> OK, listen. I think it's cute. Do you think it's cute? Yeah. yeah. Great start. No. What Hello. have you brought in that's cute? Well, I thought, i tell you what, what would be great is if you could make anything cute. Wow. So, I've got a plate of uh, cute sort of googly eyes, look. <laughs> <laughs> right, now that's... I'm going to say that that plate isn't cute. No, <laughs> but take something quite violent, like a weapon, and make it cute. Look, hammer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> who, who would mind having their head stoved in by that? Exactly. I mean, it genuinely works, doesn't it? You look so happy. It's really cute. Yeah. Joe, you're up against it here. Two very cute things. I have a picture of my favourite creature in the whole world. It's Bertie the dog. Aww. We go on tour together sometimes, and in Bristol, they were a bit nervous about him coming to the show, and I was explaining to them, thank you for letting him in, and he's really well behaved, and looked behind me, and he was taking a shit in the auditorium. <laughs> But, seemingly, he was punished by having his back half removed. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to poop when you haven't got the apparatus, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Dear me. No one has put a foot wrong so far. Let's see if that's about to change. Hugh. Yeah, well, it will be. Because the history of this is that I have come last in every single prize task. Oh, for fun. sure you have. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I also have a very cute thing, but it's a little toy. Is that? Yeah, we've got a picture of that on the screen for the audience. It's a lovely little cat. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> I mean, my instant reaction yeah. is you've done it again, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me go with that one. Yeah, uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, isn't it? This is a sort of little stress reduction thing. I find that in its stationary position and in its eyes extended position. <laughs> Accompanied with the noise it makes, <laughs> to be the direct antithesis of cute. <laughs> so, perfect. <laughs> My mission is complete. <laughs> Mel. I bought him, um, it's so cute. It's a little toweling pea pod, and then you unzip it, and then you see the little three peas inside. It's honestly going, check this out. Can have a look? It's. No! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it, Mel. 
What? What's wrong? What's wrong, Greg? Don't work for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they've all got different characters and different voices. Have you they? can do different voices. Do the voices yeah. of each of the three, and I'll see if that makes it better. The one on the left, he's speaking like that. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> And the one in the middle talks oh. like that. Well, I mean, he's clearly having an inappropriate relationship <laughs> with everyone. <laughs> and the one on the right talks like that. Irritating. <laughs> Do you want to judge it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go on, then. Can I give you fifth and last? Can I tell you? You don't need to. They all know. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, there is no question that your picture is the cutest thing. Congratulations. Thank first you so much. Oh, really? Lolly, I'm going to put OK. Very, very close between Noel and Joe for me, but I'm going to give it to Joe. Do you know why? Because that dog's been sawn in half and it needs <laughs> it needs some help. Okay. Very close third place. Uh, sorry, don't give a shit about the peas in the <laughs> pot. No, I'm sorry. They can go. fucking deal with it. <laughs> and, uh... so, so can I just confirm who's in the last place? It wasn't quite clear. No, no, let's not bother. Let's just crack on. Okay. <laughs> Good, we're off. What's next? It's the first big task. It's the slipperiest of the task. Ooh. Ready? Hello. Hello, Hugh. It's very, um, very well sealed, that one. Slide the furthest. You have 20 minutes on one attempt. Your time starts now. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Slide the furthest. I need to be higher, don't I, in order to... No, not necessarily. I just need a, tra I need a trajectory. All right. <laughs> Shed. One slide, and it's the furthest wins. OK. A, sl a slide is basically... Um, it's, it's action without friction. Sounds like a slogan. Yeah, I like that. I want to focus on action without friction. friction. <laughs> Not my understanding of a slide. Really? Well, if there was no friction, then you'd carry on forever, wouldn't you? Yeah. The only place you can slide with no friction is space. Oh, we should have gone to space! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Who are we going to see first well, doing action with some friction? We saw Joe using technical terms like trajectory and higher. So I thought we'd start... <laughs> <laughs> start with Joe and Lolly, if that's all right. Jolly. <laughs> Jolly. Butter. It's all about the, uh... <laughs> this is nice. Is it? It's lovely. It looks nice. I'm ready. Yeah, we're going to hold that there. It's exciting. We're not going to show what they've done till the end of the task. Oh, right. But instead, we're going to start with Hugh, who is exactly the same age as Joe and Lolly combined. Got <laughs> 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 you your rope? All right. <laughs> Meters 90, which is the length of the Titanic, a scale model of the Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not bad! Yeah. Thank you. Who should we see? Well, uh. No! no. Yeah! No! No! Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this works in principle. Yeah! 
I'd say it's a slide. I don't mean, I'm, I mean, I'm using that. Going from up here. <laughs> 14 meters. You've got four minutes left. You're still sliding, are you? Yeah. Yeah? another 14 meters. I'm out. You're out? Yeah. Why not? Always cool. Isn't that cool? It certainly looks cool. <laughs> Real, real <laughs> dignity. Mm. Um, there's some controversy with this one, then. Well, the, the rules were you have one attempt. You could test out the slide, but you have one attempt. Yeah. Why didn't you stop me, then, you dick? I was a... <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, it's a very That's good question. Absolutely exhausted. It's a very good question. At the time, you thought it was one sliding session. Yeah. But you were taking readings. No, I, I would be angry with him as well, but it's just one slide. So whichever of the longest of the slides is the one that'll have to count. So we've got 14 metres and 19 metres. We still haven't seen how these guys have got on on their three metres of top all in. Yeah, but, do, um... we need, do we need to...? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that Lolly will have crashed through the gates, <laughs> grabbed hold of the bumper of a car and done five or six miles. Well, we'll have a look after the break. Right, time for an advert or two. See you in a short while. It's part two, and we've been watching a sliding scale of comedians. Oh, you're right. Yes, we have. We've watched Hugh tugging himself an impressive length, <laughs> and then <laughs> Noel uh, had a whole sliding session. We're saving Joe and Lolly till the end, so it's just uh, Mrs. Gedroich, Mrs. Sledroich. Sledroich, <laughs> yeah. Zip me up, love. This is absolutely brilliant. Action without friction, guys. This is what we're aiming for. Let's do it. Oh, this feels excellent. This feels absolutely marvellous. Keep it going, team. Use the hill. Now we're back on grass. Keep going round the corner if you can. And back, back up the hill. You've got two minutes left. Oh, my God. Guys, this is... You're doing amazing work. Stay on the grass. You are incredible. That's the end of the slide. Oh, my God. I think that's the most fun I've had sliding. Action without friction. Mm -hmm. I mean, ironically, if you'd have brought a picture of that in, of you cocooned up in that, <laughs> you'd have taken round one as well. Did you like me as a little caterpillar? Girl? Nah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she slid 56 and a half metres, well over a metre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 56 and a half metres. You'd think she had this in the bag, but she's yet to face a man who's rubbed butter <laughs> and cream onto himself <laughs> and a woman who thinks that she's going to be able to slide on concrete. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Go to your fingertips. Oh, it's not far. <laughs> I missed it. If Lolly had, had worn a wool suit and fallen onto Velcro, would she have slid <laughs> the same? The same to the same. Yeah. <laughs> Lolly uh, slid 3.2 metres. That's the same height as Kylie Minogue standing on a horse. <laughs> horse and uh, Joe, 5 metres 80. Vince Vaughan on Owen Wilson on Ben Stiller on an unlit barbecue. Like one of those <laughs> But there's a clear winner, and that is uh, Mel Gedroch. Bye!
How's the scoreboard looking now, Alex? It couldn't be much closer. Uh, Hugh is trailing, but only by one. And then the three people in second place. Mel Gedroch in first place on seven points. Brilliant! <laughs> Task might do something to rekindle our relationship with Europe. I believe it can. And if we all believe, then believe me. Here's the next task. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Bobby. Oh, exciting. Is that an actual person? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um. Hello. Hello. I don't do this. I'm filming yourself. It doesn't appear to be a task here. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, good. Maintaining constant eye contact and making continuous small talk <laughs> with this Swedish person. Put on the wetsuit, flippers, face mask and snorkel. <laughs> Where even are those things? Your head may not leave the Swedish person's frame at any point. You may not move the laptop from its current position. Fastest wins. Your time... Taking my shoes off. Your time starts when... When the Swedish person smiles at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where... I don't know where it is. <laughs> to uh, webcam chats. You were very uncomfortable with it, Mel. I don't do that thing where you look at someone on the screen and chat. You think it's a bit smutty? It's just the idea of somehow it being in your own home. It's all a bit private. Is that what you call it? <laughs> 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 so, they had to put on a wetsuit while making small talk with a Swede. Yeah. Uh, we're going to dock you five seconds every time you break eye contact. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. and also there's a bonus point for whoever puts on the wetsuit best because there's some struggle. We're going to start off with uh, with Mel and Joe. Here we go. Oh, so sweet. Okay, right, come on. Oh, oh, constant eye contact. Please. Sorry, constant eye contact. That's a smile, isn't it? I've got to start. How, what's your name? Fred. So, um, what do you tend to do for Christmas? Sit in my pants. <laughs> what kind of line of work are you in? A uh, painter, decorator, and a musician. A painter, decorator and a musician. That's a niche couple of things, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've never actually done a thing where you film yourself into a computer. Oh, God, sorry, I just looked down. I was looking for my zip. To do up. <laughs> I like you. Are you single? Yeah. Do you like to cook uh, Swedish food? No, I think it's quite boring. Really? What are you looking for in a relationship? Good question. See, that's probably why I'm single. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your favourite uh, type of quiche? Quiche. <laughs> so you look great. It's not something <laughs> Eye contact, please, John. And uh, how long have you been single? Two years. Oh, my God. I think things are going to be all right for you, though. Thanks, man. Um, yeah. I've got to put the snorkel in, so... Tutty vines, my love. Great to talk. Yep. Oh, well. Thank, Thank you, you I don't think it's disrespectful to suggest that if Fred did have inappropriate thoughts, as soon as the mask went on, <laughs> maybe his desire left him. <laughs> I thought they both did very well. Yes. Joe genuinely flirting with Fred. You... Uh, Unbelievable. I think he's very handsome. He was nice, wasn't yeah. he? He's single. Mellow. Yeah. Did you get his number? No, I didn't. The problem was you, you started with small talk with a quiche chat. You asked him what his favourite yoghurt was. And that's incredible small talk, Very small, yeah. <laughs> started with small talk, drifted into, into big talk. He asked him... Big talk. He said, are you single? I think you'll be OK. I believe in you. Wow. <laughs> Is that small talk? That's not small talk. Wow. I'm obviously going in with the wrong chats on Tinder, aren't I? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. If you're going to go in with existential stuff, you're going to remain single. What's your favourite yoghurt? How do you feel about death? <laughs> It was quick, though. Very quick. Four minutes 22 to put the entire wetsuit on, whereas six minutes four to put on sort of half a wetsuit. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Hugh and Lolly manage to charm the Swede. Here we go. Is that a smile? I don't think that is a smile. That's a kind of a mad, crazed killer sort of look. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a musician and a uh, decorator. Oh, cool. What kind of music do you play? A little bit of everything. Oh, you're back. Hello. I'm maintaining eye contact with you. What's your favourite colour to paint? 
blue. I would knew you were going to say that. So, do you go to Ikea a lot? <laughs> Not really. I can't help with you. <laughs> what, what, what did you last paint blue? Uh, kitchen. Lovely. I am wearing this now, so... <laughs> yeah. mm. So we're talking about the definition of small talk, and perhaps Joe jazzed it up a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Is uh, what was the last thing you painted blue going too far the other way? <laughs> you know, it's not, tiny talk. That's tiny talk. Tiny talk. <laughs> <laughs> they were both quick though. Three minutes forty-five by Hugh. Four minutes ten. How much of the uh, wetsuit did Hugh actually have on? Not a bit. Half. Half. Sorry. Half. Well, it only said it's. I'm not sure that was on the task. It didn't say you have to put it. It just said to put the wetsuit on. It did. So it didn't mean put it on, it just meant have it on. <laughs> just Noel's attempt uh, left to see, but not until we've gorged on advertising. See you after that. <laughs> You've returned to the third part of Taskmaster, where we're trying to maintain a healthy relationship with Europe by video calling our old pal Fred in Sweden. Too right, Greg. We've already seen four of our comics struggle to maintain eye contact with a digital Fred while donning diving gear. The only attempt left to see is that of the comedian Noel Fielding. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you really yeah. Swedish? Yeah. Yeah, you're black, you're pretty blonde. I'm quite blonde as well, but I dye my hair black. It's important right. for me to maintain a sort of goth sort of situation. <laughs> Otherwise I don't get any work. Oh, okay, yeah. But it said, put these things on, because I did not put them on my head, in a pile. I might wear them like an elaborate headpiece. There you go, on the head. It's nice talking to you, I hope we can stay in touch. Yeah, that's it. I don't think we will though, will we? Probably not. All right, I'll see you later. Right. Bye. Yeah, see you. Bye. <laughs> What you just said on the video was, realistically, I don't think we're going to stay in touch. And I was going to give you a point for that honesty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only point you're going to get out of this round, believe me. Happy? Yeah! OK, well, we can see... It's quite a complicated one. We have to use a graph system, I'm, I'm afraid. So, uh, this is how they did before the penalty points for eye contact breakage. So, it's whoever is lowest has done the best. So, Noel was very quick, but... Um, You've disqualified him, unfortunately. Uh, Hugh, you're fastest at this point, but when we adjust the scores, uh, it ends up looking like this. Ooh. Yeah. So, actually, it's Lolly, then Joe, then Hugh, and then Mel. OK? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Noel's also getting one point for the small talk. And a bonus point for Joe for putting the wetsuit on for, fully. He was the only one who wore the wetsuit. There you go. Oh. Back. So, uh, yeah, that's a little point. Yeah. Onwards, onwards. Here's a sort of team task. Please whisper this task to Alex. Through the cans, please, Lolly. Oh. Put as many different things in the bathtub as possible. Most different things in the bathtub wins. Thank you, Lolly. Joe, could you read your task, please? <laughs> so the top of this bathtub with cling film. Most successfully cling filmed bathtub wins. No, could you read your one, please? What I like about that is that, uh, much like my good self, uh, Hugh was not at all baffled by the cans because when we were children they were actual toys. <laughs> I'm not sure everybody fully understands the task. No, I do though. Yeah. I understand the task is whoever accomplishes the tasks best. To, it's a team task. Oh, Whichever team does the best gets the points. <laughs> oh, so that's straightforward, is it? That's straightforward. Do you want to see how the most loved double act in TV got on? Mel and Hugh. Here we go. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, no, really. What? Oh, no, Hugh, no, no. 
the actual you what's going on i'm going to put as many things in the bathtub as possible i've got to cover it with cleaning oh them. my god i'm going to have to leave him a little space he's getting all oh hang on that's good This is so hard. This is really hard. I can't believe that. Have we got to cover it or we don't get anything? We've got to cover the surface. With cling film. With cling film. You go over there, you roll it back. Okay. Okay. Now keep rolling, keep rolling so you don't miss the end of it. Yeah. Cold feet here, shoot. There you go. Well. Oh, his feet are cold. Oh, oh, quick, 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 quick. Right, just, 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 Looking good, looking very strong. That's not bad. Come on, Hugh. <laughs> you can filming Alex's feet is, again, far cuter than peas in a pod. <laughs> what I thought was delightful about the whole thing is, no one told you this was a team task, but you just worked together. Yeah. You worked out very quickly that you both had different tasks to do. Hugh. So chivalrous. I'm going to start cling filming as well. I've nothing negative to say about that. Aww. That was just two people helping each other. <laughs> but I don't understand why. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just think everything would be a little bit better. See, I refuse to accept that a slightly younger generation can't do exactly the same, that they can't work together. Here we go. Everyone ready? Yeah. Um, are we all working together? Yeah. No, I don't like you. <laughs> I can't get it out! I think I got the easiest part of this stuff. How's it going now? All right, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not sure if I read my task properly. You did, you did. <laughs> Forty seconds left, Lolly. <laughs> you step away from the bar, please. Thanks, guys. Great teamwork. We should have told each other our tasks. I mean, what have you got to say for yourselves? <laughs> I mean, at least Noel, there was a slight nod from Noel at the beginning. Is this a team task, he asked, and then he just stood there <laughs> pissing water into a bath while Rome burned. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got another question. What's with the table? <laughs> so you put a giant table in I about five times. the table times. would stop the cling film from ruining my journey. <laughs> 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 They did put 39 things in, mainly stones and a wipe. They put a wipe, one wipe, yeah. no tables at the end. No, no, the table was yo-yoed in and out. <laughs> I think I broke a table, didn't I? Oh, you broke two tables and there was um, very little cling film, negligible. N.A. I've put Awful. after the cling film. Um, post-nuclear apocalypse, horrible. No, Noel put quite a bit of water in, but the table dislodged the uh, plug, so <laughs> most of the water came out. <laughs> right, are you going to mark it? Yep. OK, how many points are the oldsters getting? Uh, the oldsters get the full points. Full five points. Full five points. And nothing for these, not even Waterman? Of course not, zero. OK, so it's five to oh, zero. There we go, that's it. Alex, hit me with the next task. OK, I will. Uh, get ready, go! <laughs> Nice. Oh. Duck! 
My duck friend. I love this duck. Throw something into something. Most unbelievable throw wins. You've ten minutes to plan your throw. Then ten minutes to pull it off. Your time starts now. OK. Just going to pop to the shed. OK. Feels like the right thing to do. So you're hoping for something impressive? I think that's the key word here, impressive. And you're hoping for one of those videos that you see of somebody just tossing a uh, basketball well, into a bin? All, that the kids all watch online. Hmm. Yeah. OK. OK, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll have a look at three of them as one. Joe, Lolly and Hugh. Ten minutes start now. <laughs> oh, that was close, that one. I can do this, I believe in myself. Proof of pudding with these internet videos is whether you can imagine people chatting out next to the water cooler on a Monday morning about them. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we could role play some of them. Okay. Okay. You just be standing by the water cooler. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen that video? Which video? The, the one of a guy throwing a nut oh. into the <laughs> small end of a traffic cone <laughs> that he is seated relatively <laughs> close to. You try and do it, you bellend. <laughs> What job do we do in the role play? Oh, in the office. Just need to get into the role more. <laughs> um, we work in export. Okay. <laughs> we, ex we export meat. Yeah. Meat. Oh. Oh, lovely old shipment of meat just went out. Mm. I'll tell you what, though, mm. you haven't seen that video where a woman inexplicably sits on a mm. tennis umpire's chair <laughs> and throws handful of sweets at a man seated on the ground with a cup of tea no, in his hand. I'm very busy you? with my meat. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Have we got one more video to tempt Oh, uh, yeah. I did see this amazing video of a man... How old? Oh. <laughs> realistically <laughs> mid-80s. <laughs> Who was attempting to make us believe he'd thrown toast into a toaster, which is on a roof. On a roof? No reason for that. <laughs> it's on a roof. But he forgot to take away the previous attempts. Oh. So if it had gone in, it wouldn't have looked impressive, cos we've all seen how many times he's tried it. <laughs> have you seen that video? Yeah, I like that one. I like right, that let's one. get these pigs to France. <laughs> Can I just say, actually, just say something against myself, which I hadn't realised until I watched that video? Why am I throwing toast that's already been toasted? <laughs> right. That's it. Wow. Yeah. Right. Add time. Join us soon for the final part of the show and a live task. Bye for now! Welcome back to Taskmaster. It's the final quarter of tonight's show and there's a bunch of cute prizes to be won. Alex is about to remind us what was happening before the break, weren't you, Alex? Hello! Hi, Greg. Thanks for that. And good evening to our viewers everywhere. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> we've been doing a lot of throwing. We've just got Noel and Mel left to go and we're going to start with Noel impressively throwing something into something. See that video? <laughs> I did 
that's it. I mean, I thought he did throw something into something. Yeah, he threw... Uh, he successfully threw a tennis ball into a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Really hard to catch that on a tennis racket. Yeah. And then at the last minute, ah. Uh... Uh, <laughs> such a shame. Hmm. Such a shame. But I, I enjoyed the ball going into the caravan. Yeah, that's all you wanted, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's enough for me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, pre you you prepare them, mate? Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This stuff's going to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is one more to distract you. Do you want to see Mel Gedroich? Yeah. OK. Have a look at this. I used to love it on the A-Team when there would be a moving vehicle and people would run along and jump into the vehicle. I'd say that's throwable. Where are you, Bernardo? Go, Alex! I can't see the ruddy thing. Here we go, there's the car. Did we do it? Is he still in there? Come on. You see that woman throw uh, uh, <laughs> half a man into a slow moving car? <laughs> do you want to judge them then? Okay, well, it's difficult to know what the worst is, but I think it was throwing MMs at you. Skittles. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Lies first. <laughs> Lolly's last. <laughs> uh, a nut boy is a very close fourth. OK, even though he got it into a small hole. Even though he got it into a small hole, it was fucking rubbish. <laughs> uh, obviously, the uh, bread maniac. The uh, caravan, I like the ambition, so I'm going to put him in second. And the corpse into the moving car <laughs> takes first place. OK, there we go. What's the scoreboard like at the moment? Actually, the scoreboard, of course. Oh! It's still... Not anyone's game, but Hugh and Mel are vying for it at the top of the league table. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> OK, it's time to stretch those legs. Please make your way up to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. Would you please ask Hugh to read out the task? Hello, Hugh. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> You're right, Hugh. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> right, the task is make the longest continuous noise. <gasps> there will also be a bonus point for the best noise. Wow. If you four could all put on your earphones and eye masks. And the reason that you're blindfolded and having the headphones is so you can't copy other people's cool noises. Ah, should we put them on now? Yep. <laughs> What's so long noise? Long, continuous noise, yes. Yeah, okay. so if you could stand up in front of your continuous. chair. Continuous. And don't forget, there's a bonus point for the best noise. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mel. I mean, there's still a good chance you're going to get oh. that extra bonus point, though. <laughs> is my mascara a bit? Yes, it is a bit. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. It, it really is. It really, it really has masked it. Let's go. There was a slight pause. There was a slight break in the death the, in the death racket. A slight break. There was a slight pause in the death racket. You say what you want about Alex Horn. He's on pauses like a fucking puma. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So oh if you just stand there, Lolly. You're right. That music is. It's horrible. It's terrible, it's by the horn section. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the whistle. Good luck, Lolly. I have asthma. Me too. Ready? <laughs> Love the stance. It's good. <laughs> Finish that with a full vomit onto the stage. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> no reaction whatsoever to you kissing him. <laughs> On the whistle, please, John. 
My feeling is Hugh's totally hey. forgotten where he is. <laughs> no, I don't even know whether this will work. Right, OK, well... <laughs> do I get... OK. Are you sure you've got the task right? <laughs> On the whistle. It's all about the arms now. <laughs> Ooh. Those muscles ain't so oh. built up. <laughs> Keep going, mate. I like how it's pointing at you, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Go on, Desky. Go on, Desky. Des you let it go, mate. Go on, Desky. Go on, Desky. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. So, uh, Greg, I will uh, add this up in a minute. Do you want to judge on the bonus point for best noise? Yeah. <gasps> I mean, it'll come as no surprise to you. I'm giving it to an old windmill there. No <laughs> doubt, right? <laughs> what were the scores? Well, Noel, and you did interfere, had uh, four seconds. Four oh. seconds. Then yeah. we go up to... Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to. Mm. Then we go up to Mel with 14, Lolly with 21, what? Hugh with 30, but Joe got 32 seconds. <gasps> so what has that done to our final scores? Well, thanks to that bonus point, it means it's a tie. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, it's a tie. Tie break. Oh! Mel and Hugh. What do we do in this situation? We have a tie break. Tie break. We have a tie break. Yes, over the past few months, our contestants took part in some tie-break challenges. And in this tie-break, we've asked them to speed eat. Oh. Here we go. Eat as many peas as possible. You have one minute. Your time starts now. <laughs> I'm going to funnel them. certainly look like you've got through some peas there. Oh, yeah, definitely ate some peas, I'm on, yeah. I'm on tenterhooks. Mm. Well, there were 500 peas on the table. They both ate under 200 peas. Okay. Mel ate 174 peas in one <gasps> minute. Almost three per second. <laughs> and Hugh ate 199 peas. Yeah! This is none other than Hugh Dennis. Please go and reap your rubbish rewards. <laughs> that was a good one, I think. Yes, and for the record, you would have been my cutest thing. Why don't you shut your dirty <laughs> mouth? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> so, what have we learnt today? We've learnt that kids can't work together and the planet is going to go up in flames. We're all going to burn. <laughs> Please put your hands together for tonight's magnificent winner, Mr Hugh Dennis! <laughs> Subscribe now.